Um, hello everyone, uh, this time we'll talk about uh, Power BI and DAX. Uh, this is going to be a short and hopefully interesting video. Uh, we'll talk about a run rate. Uh, what is a run rate? Run rate is a technique to predict future sales based on the sales up until a certain period. So for instance, in this visual, we can see that uh, 2016 is still not finished. We have only data up until the June of 2016, but we have this darker blue color, which is an estimation based on the daily averages of the sales in 2016. So this calculation works with uh, any kind of granularity. And if we move the slicer, we can see that it adjusts, adjust, uh, it is adjusting the darker blue quadrant based on the averages up until this period. It also works with lower granularities. So also on quarter, it also shows for the last quarter, uh, the appro approximate value up, 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 up until the end of that quarter and also for the month and on the daily basis, it is non-existent. Uh, now we'll show you step by step how to create this function and how to create this visual and to uh, implement this in your own solution. So we will close this file and this is our brand new uh, starting file. Uh, first, let's, let's introduce ourselves to the, to the data model. It's a simple one. It has only three dimensions and it has one fact sales table. Uh, first, what we need to do, we need to add an additional column to the dim date table and that column will be used as a slicer. I've already included it. So basically this is just a reference to a dim date date column and I will explain you later on why we have to have that column in our data model. We will immediately include that column so date slicer in a slicer above the visual. So let's add the slicer. And now let's add the visual below. We will add this uh, stacked column chart. And we will also add total quantity, which is just sum of fact sales quantity. So let's add this to the values field and we will add the date hierarchy into the axis. So we have this visual. As we can see, the 2016 year is still not finished. Uh, what we can do, we can see that uh, the date slicer visual is going all the way to the end, to the 31st of December of 2016. We can uh, limit it to only the dates with sales by adding date with sales date with sales um, uh, column to the visual of uh, to the filters of this visual uh, date with sales is simply uh, an additional column in dim date table that is helping us check whether uh, the dates are going into the future or into the into the dates that do not have sales or they are still in the current in the present or in the past so let's add this date with sales as a filter and let's select only to be true. Okay, so now let's go to creating a, oh, let's go to creating run rate calculation. So we'll call the calculation run, run rate quantity. And let's start. We will use a divide, we will not use average x over the dates since it will lead us to false result uh, or not false but inaccurate result in some occasions so we will use a different approach we'll use divide function and we will divide total quantity total quantity by the count of oh, by the count rows count rows of values dim date date Dim date date, but we only wish to access or, or we only wish to access the dates that are still in the present or the past. So we have to go with calculate table and filter out all the dates that do not have date with sales column 
value true. Date with sales has to be true. This will give us and an average of or, or the daily average pondered for every day, no matter if the day has sales or doesn't have sales. So if we add these values to, to, the, to the values field, and if we go to show table as show data as table, we can see that these are the run rates for the daily sales. If we create and let's call this average with average x function, so let's go with average x values dim date date, and we will add total total quantity. Yes, let's add this calculation to the visual. We'll see that the averages are slightly above the run rate quantity average. Why? Because it is only calculating the average of the existing sales. And this could lead to false, false results because we are multiplying the remaining days by the average of every day before, before the uh, before the starting period or before the ending period or in this, this case before the 1st of June. And if we were to use the average, which is a non-pondered average, then the remaining of the year will be much higher or it, it will be slightly off higher than it should be if we use this daily average as, every, as if the every day had its sales. So we will not use this average, we'll use this uh, calculation with uh, our average based on every date. And now we have to multiply this by controls again, values, and this time we'll also use dim date date. But now we have to, we have to kick off the date slicer because the date slicer is limiting the dim date, for instance, in 2016, the date slicer is limiting these dates to be up until 1st of June. But we have to, in order to uh, calculate the remaining of the year, we need to have all the dates in that year. So we have to calculate table and we'll use all date slicer, slicer date to ignore to ignore the dates that are originally in original filter context that are filtered by the date slicer or by the slicer above this visual, by this slicer, okay? So now if we go back to show values as table, we can see that we have the same values, the same figures for every year except the last one. The last one is still not finished, therefore we have different, different values. These values, or th this value in particular, is still not correct. This is not. This shouldn't be the total uh, run rate for that year. The total run rate for this year should be this minus total quantity. So to create, to finish our calculation, we have to subtract total quantity from this measure. Now we receive only the data for or only only data for the uh, last period which is not which is still not finished and we can use this slicer to manipulate the run rate based on the selection and as i mentioned it works for any regularity except for the date one on which the values are the same because the original filter context is only focused on a single date and the controls is always all, all, also one day and therefore the run rate quantity always returns zero. Uh, this was all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you can use it in your own solutions and if you have any questions, post them down below and see you in the next video. Bye.